I think it's been really cool to see how much coverage he's been getting in music and indie press because there's not a lot of space made for those stories in those spaces a lot of time. It's a lot of white dudes talking about white dudes playing songs about being white dudes. Yeah, yeah. I think, though, it's like you were alluding to earlier, though. I think it's a great um, time. It's a great age for women, I, you know, and putting out great music. And they are getting, like, the exposure. Like, if you listen to, uh, you know, independent radio here or all these stations, like, as you mentioned, there's so many great – from Phoebe Bridgers to – and um, Japanese uh, Japanese Breakfast, Lucy Dacus. There, there are so, so many. Even younger ones like Claro and uh, – yeah, there's another. There, who's the big, big star anyway? I don't want to get too off track, but she's um, her Phineas. Phineas is uh, sis, that's a terrible thing to say. That's a strange way to describe. I know. <laughs> no, no, but Phineas. You know the producer. She works with her brother Phineas, and it's a. I can't. Billy Eilish. Yes, yes, thank you. Yeah, Phineas's like sister. You like did saying, him a real solid there. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> and I apologize. And I apologize to her because she's a super. She's super talented. She shouldn't be yeah. known as Phineas's sister. What, I mean, a, what what a voice! Like, yeah, l literally and lyrically, like, yeah, she's she's amazing. 